Welcome back. You are watching part sixth of this series. In this video, we will try to automate thread dump collection. So many a times when server goes into warning state, it is required to take thread dumps, and uh, you can automate this process by writing a small script. So we'll try to write a script to automate this process. As you know, we are covering the entire series for server warning health issue. And uh, as part of previous videos, we discussed ADR framework along with log analysis and stuck thread issues. So I would recommend you to watch those videos as well. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to check out my channel for more interesting videos related to web logic administration and SOA development. There can be multiple ways to capture thread dump, but in this video, we are not going to cover all of them. But let me know in the comment section if you want me to cover it. In this video, we are going to use JSTEC and uh, using a script, we are going to collect the thread dump. So, as I mentioned, uh, we will write one shell script. And we will invoke this script every two minutes using cron tab. From this script, we will check our server logs. And if we find a stuck keyword in the server log, we will capture thread dump. So, whenever the thread is getting stuck, we will be able to get the thread dump of it. And it will be helpful uh, when we have thread dump uh, to analyze what went wrong with the thread. So let us see things in action and uh, let's go to our shell script. So this is our present working directory and this will be our script home. So we have kept our script in this path. Inside this we have one folder that is dumps. So whatever dumps we are going to capture, we will store it here. This is our shell script. So first line is a variable that is a log location. So we are going to find our stuck keyword in our OSB server logs. So this is our OSB server log path. Uh, this can be a different path for you. So you will have to mention your OSB server log path. This is our log name. So a thread dump log name should start with thread dump followed by current date and uh, it should end by dot log. So this is the uh, naming convention for our log. This is script home which is our present working directory and uh, this variable is for the dump path. So inside our script home we have dumps folder and uh, this is a output file so whenever uh, we are able to find a stuck keyword in the server logs we are going to redirect that output to output file and uh, if that output file is not empty then we are going to capture thread dump using jstack here we have another variable that is PID. PID stands for process ID. So to capture thread dump, we will require process ID for our OSB server. And uh, from this path, we are getting the process ID for the OSB server. So here you can see we have our domain home. Inside that we have servers, OSB servers, data, node manager. And inside node manager, uh, we have osb underscore server one dot pid this file is generated by the web logic so in the similar fashion you can also give a path for your process id and if you want to capture thread dumps for different process id such as admin server or uh, your soa server then you'll have to change this path accordingly in this step we are going to change the directory to log location which is our server log location then we are going to find files whatever is modified in last one minute and then we are going to grab a stuck keyword in those files and whatever output we get will be redirected to our output file and if we have something in output file then we are going to capture 
our thread dump using js tag minus l pid and uh, whatever output we get after capturing the thread dump will be redirected to this path that is our dump path and the log name which we have here and once everything is done we will remove our output file so this is very simple script to capture thread dumps and you can also put all these variables into properties file if you want i have put this script in the git and the path is shared in the description so you can directly go to that link and copy this script if you want to use this now we will configure our cron tab and uh, then we will generate a stuck thread scenario and we will see whether our script is able to capture that or not so let's save this script now to run anything in the cron tab you will have to run cron tab minus e minus e stands for edit so let's run this and you can see we have already configured a script but that is disabled so i will remove this you can disable a script by putting hash in front so i am removing hash and our script is going to enable once we save this you can see we are running our script every two minutes and this is the command uh, to run the script and this is the path where we have our script so let's save this one so our cron job is enabled now we will run our shell script to generate a stuck thread scenario so we are going to run call endpoint.sh which we have used in our previous videos also let me try to open this once again we are just curling the endpoint that is our source proxy service and uh, this is going to regenerate a stuck thread scenario for us so let us run this let us log into console and you will be able to see that the server is running into warning state and you can see our server is running with the warning health if you want to see how to replicate this scenario or what service we are invoking to regenerate this you can refer my previous videos all the details are clearly mentioned in those videos now we'll go to our dumps path and see whether thread dumps are captured or not so this is our script home and uh, this is our dumps folder and you can see thread dump is generated let's try to open this one and uh, we have our thread dump here and uh, you can also see we have one thread uh, uh, which is stuck here and uh, that is due to our thread dot sleep method so we have uh, successfully captured thread dumps without any manual intervention and uh, in real scenario you can increase the frequency in the cron tab instead of two minutes you can put that to one hour based on your requirement so that you can get meaningful output from the script you can also add email alerts whenever thread dumps are getting generated so that you can uh, get notification uh, and you can take proactive action on those thread dumps that's it for this video if you want me to make more videos on the automation please share your recommendation in the comment section if you found this video helpful please like my video subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon for the further notification thank you